What's up, everybody? This is your boy, The Trail Collector, man. Coming to you guys another video review. Man, today, um, I'm pleased to bring you, man, arguably uh, the best Super Saiyan 4 Go Goku figure out there to date, uh, PVC and ABS-wise, man. Um, this is the Prize B Master Lease Super Saiyan 4 Goku from the Greatest Saiyan uh, Kuji that came out in 2019, man. Um, this figure, man, really hands down, in my opinion, um, and really pretty much, if you ask any, um, avid collector of, uh, Dragon Ball stuff, uh, Dragon Ball figures, man, this Super Saiyan 4 Goku is definitely, like, one of the best, if not the best, man. Um, this figure right here, man, like I said, came out in 2019, um, it was alongside the Vegeta, the Gogeta, and then the LP right here, if you guys can see, which is the Great Ape Goku, man. Um, this set was, was really special, man, because um, it was the first time um, when I started collecting that um, the, L, the last prize figure, or the last one prize, last one figure was uh, shipped overseas here. It was, it was received here in the States, man. Uh, typically, you know, um, last prize figures are region locked to Japan, and we don't get those too often. Um, but for a figure of that scale to get released stateside, man, that was a really, really big deal, man. Um, along, so like I said, along with this figure here, um, like I said, man, this is arguably one of the greatest Super Saiyan 4 figures um, that, you know, uh, Master Lisa has ever put out. Um, now, recently we have the Super Dragon Ball Heroes 3rd Mission. Um, Prize E Goku, Super Saiyan 4, Limit Break Goku that came out. And um, I personally, I do not have it, um, but I do know individuals that do. And they say that that's a pretty awesome figure as well. Um, but if you're talking about just like Dragon Ball GT and just Super Saiyan 4, this is the best one. You know what I'm saying? Like not including Super Dragon Ball Heroes or any of that. If you're just talking about straight canon GT, this is this is it you know what i'm saying this is this is the figure you know what i'm saying this is the the best figure uh hands down for super saiyan 4 goku man um so to give you guys a little backstory about this figure and the transformation um like i said this is from dragon ball gt and i know G, gt gets a lot of flack because it's kind of like all over the place um but if you don't know anything about gt you know super saiyan 4 um you know Great Ape Golden Ozaru Goku, you know, Super Baby Vegeta, you know, uh, Great Ape Baby, you know, um, Omega Shinron, you know, we, I mean, that's just some of those things that with that series, certain things stood out, you know, um, so this is, this is it, man. This was when, um, you know, Kid Goku was getting washed by, uh, Super Baby Vegeta and, um, you know, he pretty much was like on, on on his way out and he looked at the earth and got flooded with the brute waves from the earth, like the same thing that the moon does to the sands. Um, the earth did this, did this to Goku, you know, it um, awakened his great ape form, which you see right here, the golden great ape right there, um, to where he went back to his primitive state. And then from when, when he was able to control his great ape form, he, eventually uh, transformed to the Super Saiyan 4. Uh, the Super Saiyan 4 is pretty much a um, Saiyan's, I wanna say like most primitive form, if you can say, um, because it's their most powerful. You know, um, it, it, it has a more of a animalistic look to them. You know, as you can see, they have like the red fur on their, on their bodies. They regain their, their tails. Um, they have like this red kind of uh, outline around their eye, you know, it kind of gives them more of a menacing Animalistic look like a predator type look, you know what I'm saying? So um, Really an intimidating look man a really really powerful Transformation man um, So like I said, this is the prize B figure um, When I attained this figure man, like I say back in 2019 when I first started collecting man um, uh, this, this figure along with this bad boy right here, which is arguably the best Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta out there, um, in my opinion, 
you know, along with this one here and the Gogeta and the Grade 8. I picked them up from a local shop here in Houston called Bedrock City. Um, walked into the comic book shop, man, and I all lost. The first thing I saw was the yellow box with the Grade 8 on, on it. And I was like, I don't care what anything else is, I need that figure right there. And um, i never forget, man, one of the, the guys that worked there told me that it came in a four-figure set, right? And I was like, okay, you know, I didn't know what sets were at the time. I didn't know that, well, I didn't know what Kooji lotteries were at the time. I didn't know any of that. And I'm like, okay, well, what are the four figures, that, the other three figures it came with? And it was the Vegeta, the Goku, and the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And I picked up that whole set that one day, man. And um, I've had them ever since. I've never sold these, man, never anything. These are the OG figures from when I first started co collecting. And they're never going anywhere, man. Um, these these figures, man, like I say, they, yeah, they have a lot of sentimental value to them, man. Um, and, and, you know, just for me. So getting into this figure, into the, de the detail of this piece, man. One thing that I really, really like about this man is how they captured the likeness of the fi of the character uh, from his anime counterpart. Man, this is um, pretty much Goku from Super Saiyan uh, Super Saiyan Four Goku from GT. Man, this is definitely it. Like, if you're looking at the anime, you're looking at the figure. Both, you know, what I'm saying that's how much of a likeness um, that this figure has. Man, um, I really like the shading on his pants, as you guys can see. You know, really kind of subtle, really not not much. I like the pose that he's in. Um, you can pose him like this, or you can pose him, you know, in like a defensive stance, you know, which I think is pretty cool. Um, this figure does come in two different, three different parts. It comes with the detachable tail, and then the foot um, stand that, that it has to hold him in place. Um, this is a pretty balanced figure, so you really don't need the, uh, the uh, base, but I just have it on there because I have him on display with the great ape. So, you know, instead of having him wobbling around, you know, I just have him, you know, standing with his base. Um, this figure stands roughly about nine inches tall, man. Really respectable size for a figure. Um, like I said, when this figure released, this figure was like 45 bucks, man. If that thing was maybe 40 bucks at that time, I want to say like. 45 maybe 50 at the most i really don't remember um but i know it's it's nowhere like how it is now price wise man um this is the ichiban show version you know this isn't like the the overseas jack japan release this is the the overseas release of this figure and um this figure right here man is going for like 95 bucks to like 120 just for him um the vegeta that it comes with it's like 130 to 140 um, the Gogeta, I want to say it's running for like a hundred bucks. And then the Big Daddy of Ma, which is the last prize, Golden Great Ape, that one's running for like almost 400 right now. You cannot find that Great Ape Ozaru for less than 300 bucks. I'm just being honest with you. If you do, you're getting it for a steal. Um, but yeah, you, you cannot find that figure for less than that anywhere. So if you have it, man, you hold on to them because these are definitely going up in price almost every year um so if you guys are interested in finding this figure definitely go on ebay um i see a lot of them on there i see people starting them at auctions for like maybe 20 bucks um before i start this video i looked on ebay and i saw that one sold last november for like 56 dollars and that was at an auction 56 bucks and that that really shocked me but you know that's those you know kind of you know shot in the dark type of things that you can get it for pretty much what it released for you know but other than that man i haven't seen anything anywhere under you know 100 bucks yet um last year i went to comic palooza which is like a comic-con type event here we have in houston and a vendor had not the lp not the grade eight but just the goku vegeta and gogeta and he was asking 450 bucks just for those three. Um, I've seen him on Dragon Ball, um, buy, tr buy, sell, and trade sites on Facebook. I seen the set go for 285, just the three figures, not the LP. I've seen it. Someone asked like 350 for him. Um, you know, and that's you know that's getting kind of 
you know, pricey for just the three figure set. But around 285 to like 300 is, is like that kind of middle ground. Um, especially if they're like the Japan lettered versions, you know, that's probably what you're going to look to like get for them. Um, so, you know, maybe if you broke them up as a set, you can get them a little bit cheaper, but you know, why break them up as a set, you can get, get the whole thing, you know, that's, that's the way I look at it. Um, but nonetheless, man, this is one of the best Super Saiyan 4 figures out. Um, I wish I had another um scaled goku figure man that i could compare it to but everything else i have is like super master stars piece stuff so you know i really wouldn't scale well with this but for comparison out of size comparison i'll just bring out the counterpart that it came with which is the super saiyan 4 vegeta um even looking at this piece here i know this is a goku review but even looking at this piece here man one of the one of my favorite things about this vegeta it's the shading on the pants, like the denim on his jeans, man. This this looks like actual, like faded denim on this PVC and ABS figure, man. That's how much detail that they put into the Greatest Sand uh, line, man. And if Master Lee's can get back to this, which I'm not saying they have not been knocking up the part they because they absolutely have, but if they can go to this type quality again, man. Bro, I don't think it's anything else that, that will be able to touch Master Lee's when it comes to figure manufacturing, man, and sculpting and all of that. So, you know, if you guys are, um, like I say, interested in it, man, go to Smash Collecting on Facebook, join up there, hit up some of the guys and see if you can get it. eBay, um, Macari might have it, but, you know, a little leery about that because there are a lot of bootlegs and fakes out there of this figure. Um, and I know I did not show you guys a box the uh, Toei sticker, as, as <laughs> like I always do. But, um, like I said, this is back in 2019 when I, before I really started collecting heavy and I wasn't a box collector. I was just, get them out the box, tear up the box, man, and just put them on a display. And I really regret that because I don't have the box for either one of these, but I can assure you, man, that these are the real deal. These are not fake. These are not bootlegs. These are the authentic Ichiban Show uh, overseas release versions of these figures, man. So, um, you know, I, I wouldn't slight you guys with that at all. Um, but, um, yeah, man, this is this is arguably the best Super Saiyan 4 figure, in my opinion, man, um, to date as of right now. Um, yeah, I, I just think it's, 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 it's an awesome piece, man. Really, really awesome piece. So... If you guys are on Instagram, man, head over there to Trill underscore Collector 512, man. You can check out this figure along with the other three figures in this set. Um, you can look at my entire collection. If you guys have any questions, comments, man, feel free to inbox me, man. Um, I try to answer you guys as quick as I can. Comment on the video. If I see it, I definitely try to answer you guys. If you guys are on Twitter, Trill Collector 512 over there. We can chop it up there as well, man. And if you're on Facebook, I cannot stress this enough, man. Head over to Smash Collecting uh, over on Facebook, man. It's an awesome group of individuals over there. A lot of collective knowledge of these figures. And if you're looking for them, they can definitely hook you up and get your hands on it if you so desire to. So, as always, man, this is the Trill Collector signing off. As always, man, keep it Trill and keep collecting. Until next time. Bye.